Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how you can close out all the Safari tabs open on your iPhone and iPad devices. A lot of time we don't realize when we're surfing the net on our phones is that we have multiple tabs open and the reason why that is bad for your device is not only is straining your battery but it also impacts your device performance so it will slow and make your device laggy so with these quick steps you can go ahead and avoid having any impact to your performance of your device and with that let's get started all right guys so a quick and easy way to close the safari tabs manually would be uh, you just open your safari and then here you can see how many tabs you have open by just tapping on this bottom right icon and as you can see I have about 12 tabs open so not so bad but I've seen worse but this can still impact my device performance so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and to quickly close all these tabs you just have to tap and hold with your finger again same icon like that and now you're going to see these small menu pop up so you want to select this first red option that says close all 12 tabs I'm going to go ahead and do that and then it's going to ask you to confirm so I'm going to go ahead and hit close all 12 tabs the another way you can have the tabs close and not having to remember to close them yourself is to have it set up to close automatically according to your schedule so to do that you just have to go to your settings and then scroll down until you see Safari and then here you want to scroll down until you see this option that says close tabs and right now it's set to manually so I'm going to hit that and I want to do let's say after one day so what this will do is every day it will automatically close out any tabs that I have open for Safari so I don't have to do it myself. So there you have it guys in just a few quick simple steps you can go ahead and not only manually close your Safari tabs on your iPhone or iPad devices but you can also set it up to automatically close them according to your schedule so this way your device can continue to run smoothly and will not have any impact to your battery drain. So I hope you guys liked today's video and if you haven't already done so, please remember to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, see you on the next one.